Greetings and salutations, Dan the Wolfman here. Today we're going to be talking about old school versus new school. As part of my advanced gunfighting series, I also made videos last time, 9mm versus 45 fair test, both in 30 ounce commanders. I've been lucky enough to borrow some pistols from some friends in order to make this series. And that I think you should definitely pay attention to. And here we got old school, a 1911 lightweight commander, 45 aluminum frame versus new school, one of the newest striker fired Palmer frame pistols, optics mounted, the latest red dot, latest greatest 507C with the ACSS uh, reticle. Old school, 45 lightweight commander, carried appendix. Jam Custom Kydex versus New School carried 3 o'clock with a red dot, 507C ACSS reticle, and we'll see how that goes. So 9mm versus 45, absolutely New School, lightweight, thin, carry, pistol, striker, fired versus hammer, fired, single action, 9mm. So, I don't know if you can see the red dot there or not in the window which helps you. And if you want to know more about this, I did do a full review of my friend's pistol. Can old school still get it done? Can, is new school that much better? Well, we're going to put it to the test. Uh, uh, last time I did about five advanced drills on the nine millimeters 45 and both lightweight uh, carry commanders. And this time we got a lighter pistol, but a nine millimeter. We got aluminum frame, 30 ounce pistol. This is like 20 uh, i think 21.8 ounces it's really really light really really thin this is my favorite striker fired pistol if you were going to actually edc carry every single day whether you put a red dot on it or not four and a half inch barrel four and a quarter inch barrel and this is very light and thin and their thinness is actually about the same both very thin pistols, especially with these beautiful, I put my own uh, for these videos, Aluma grips on them. Nice and thin, beautiful Aluma, Aluma grips. But look how thin they are, which means they're very easy to carry, especially if you carry appendix and have a tactical muffin top. That does make it far more comfortable and less likely to print the thin or thickness of the particular pistol. Now, this isn't a GI model, so it does have the updates of which I think are essential for carry a uh, extended grip safety, slightly extended safety, and all of that, and much better sights. We got fiber optics, so that's a little bit new school. So you got the orangish uh, front, orangish reddish front, and you got the same thing with the red dot. So that'll be interesting as far as that, that you got a red you know, big reticle that helps you align quickly. So the ACSS is very different than typical red dots with the Chevron. So if you're a little bit off on your draw, it tells you to auto correct. Okay, really, really important stuff, which I think is the future of red dots. Now, uh, this is my friend's pistol. I haven't shot it and I don't know how long. I did a full unboxing, probably uh, a full range review, probably a year ago, combination review on the pistol and the red dot. Don't fully trust red dots yet. The battery could die. He doesn't have, um, hard to figure out what SIG style front sight. If anybody knows out there what height it's, you know, there's not too many because the SIGs weren't optics ready back in the day. The steel frame, uh, metal frame or aluminum frame, I should say. So if anyone knows the proper front sight. Now this does have a lot more ammo capacity. We talked about it last time in the nine millimeter versus 45. Does 45 do damn it, more damage? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna tell you that absolutely scientifically. Way more tissue crush, whether it's ball to ball or hollow point to hollow point, it absolutely does. Um, this is an eight round plus, or you can get a 10 round uh, Wilson Combat magazine that definitely makes it you know more, more comfortable depending on your needs and the areas that you're in um, this one also can take you extended standardly awesome capacity magazines uh, the one flaw of this pe pe uh, pistol people think is a flaw is a little hard to hit the mag release that is the one knock on this pistol 
So look at my full review of that and we'll see how well they do, but it's very thin, points very well. Um, a little snappier than some other pistols, striker fired pistols that are in the 25 to 26 ounce range, when I think you're only at about 22 uh, here, maybe it's 22.2, something like that, I forget exactly. And we got just about 30 ounces here. Um, is it a drawback to have to sweep down that safety on a draw? Yes. So I don't carry 1911. Someday I might switch to that and other pistols where I do like to carry it cocked and locked and I want to sweep down that safety. Someday I might do that. But you can't really uh, play the EDC switch-up game too often because what if you don't? So that is a drawback, and that's too big a drawback for others. But can it still get it done? It's got it done, you know, for over 100 years. I say it could still get it done. What do you say? Do you like the looks of this pistol better? Is looks important to you? Is feeling like you're carrying fine craftsmanship important to you to bet your life on? Or is modern and I'm neglectful and I don't lube my rails, uh, you know, <laughs> at least two to four times a year and it will probably still fire yeah it will probably striker fired guns can be more neglectful in the cleaning and in the lubrication department so uh, i'm not saying the name but i did a full review on this i'm sure some of you can figure it out and I think for carry, it is the best striker fired pistol there out there but the question is can old school 45 1911 take on the newest school thinnest lightest optics ready pistol nine millimeter that there is let's find out and multiple advanced gunfighting drills and hopefully you'll enjoy my entire advanced gunfighting series make sure you check out nine millimeter versus 45 fair test let's get it on Here we go. Looks like I got pretty good hits. A's and B's, but pretty central. And we should be able to see that 9mm versus 45 in a minute. Should be able to tell a difference. Let's do a quick pan. See if we can see over there. Hopefully, two A zone on the left target, an A and a B right to the left of it on the center target. And over there, we've got an A and then a B kind of near the heart. I don't know if you can see those, but hopefully that will help me figure it out later. All right, let's do the same thing with the old dog, 1911 45 Lightweight Commander. Total time, 9.48 seconds. Total time on that, 9.48 seconds. All right, let's see how those hits were. Got one pretty bad one out of that. Let's see if I can get the time. The other one was nine something something, I forget. That was 870, so actually faster with the 45. A little bit faster with the 45 than the red dot. I haven't been using a red dot in a long, long, long time. But new tech versus old tech, so that's kind of interesting. Let's check our hits. And hopefully you guys appreciate these advanced gunfighting drills. So, look like there's my two 9mm hits right there, okay? And there's my 45 and my 45. Now, is that enough to make a difference? I don't know. That's better than that, I suppose. But is it enough to make a difference? And what about the caliber difference? So the 9 millimeters. Um... No, 9 millimeters here and 45s here. It's really hard to film, guys, with my glasses and everything. So, 45 much better on this target. 9 millimeter here. 9 millimeter here. 45 there in the heart and one there. 
And if we call this A zone and that a B zone, though, I kind of like up here too. A zone, B zone, the nine millimeter did better over here. That's a bad shot. So I had one bad shot with the 45. 45, definitely one out there. And I mean, if you're scoring nine millimeter, one out there, but that's pretty much. And do you think there's a difference in tissue crush? Can old school get, still get it done? Hopefully you enjoy my advanced gunfighting series. We'll take these on, double checking. Safety's on, safety's up. Don't recommend this with a striker fired gun. Safety's up, how you would do it, do it on your belly and be able to go. Just something important to know in case you ever really needed it. Grab it! Okay. Let me go kind of call my hits out. And then we'll see how we did. One A zone, one B zone, a little too low for my liking. One A zone, perfect. One B zone, a little too low and right for my liking. One A zone, perfect near the spine. And one C zone, way out here on the side of the chest. From low ready, total time, six shots in those transitions, 4.60. I'm not doing that fast today. 4.60. Grab it! All right. Again, I've never done this drill. And let's see how bad the hits were. All right, over here I got... B zone good, left long, B zone, and just almost breaking the line. I won't give it to myself. B zone, C zone. So I cross over too much when I shoot left handed. And I think we got B zone, B zone. That one's right near the line. Those are both really good up the thoracic hits, however. And here we got B zone and B zone down a little too low, but still in the long. So that's not so bad. So, which one's better? I don't know. But you might find it a very interesting and challenging drill. Time was about the same 4.38 seconds. 4.38 seconds uh, on the time from low ready. I think that was about the same. Let's see the hit. Not great, not bad. I think those are the 45, I think those are the nine millimeter. 45, nine millimeter, I believe. 45, I believe, nine millimeter. Those are still very good hits. 45, perfect, 45, a little too low, Nick and the long, as you can see in the background, probably. And nine millimeter, nine millimeter. That one's not so good, but it's still upper thoracic. That's a very See how the hits were. Boom, perfect. Took her time. Getting a little slow to first shot from seven yards. I think it was the same time I had last time. And a little slow, exactly at 3.00, 3.00. T-box, just a little above the eyebrow and just below the right eye. So there's my neck. Check her time and her hits. Ooh, good bit slower then because I got a really bad draw. I don't know if you can see all that phonetic motion there. My sweater got caught up because I got so many layers on and whatnot. Oh, reality, reality hurts, baby. Reality might kill you. 3.50 exactly. Uh, earlier it was 298 on my first run with the uh, 45. So 45 just above the right eye. Very similar hits and a little bit worse. That's on the cheek on this target. That would be a B zone. And that last shot I think was bad. I might have hit him in the ear or missed. 
Check her time. Uh, so the first shot, and I'm getting used to 1911. I don't carry 1911, and I'm putting my thumb over the safety this time, riding the safety up high, seeing if I like that better. Certain 1911s I can't comfortably do that with. So we got three, six, seven for all that. So pretty slow to the first shot. I definitely need to work on that. Perfect T box. Perfect T box. Perfect T box. I guess I managed to correct before that nice. Single action crisp trigger, because I know that right at the end I was too right, and I, I managed to correct it. Those are three perfect hits. So, maybe not the fastest, but three perfect shots. I'm actually kind of impressed with that, though. I would like to first shot a lot faster. I want to be in the 152. Breathe. Safety. Safely reholster where you're at. Let's see if I got the time. Wow, even slower. See, I haven't been training with the red dot, and it shows ridiculously slow. 4.04 .04 total time. 4.04 .04 total time. I think I was quite a bit faster. Checker hits. Right on the eyebrow, T box, perfect. A little bit low. Below the, a little on the cheek next to the nose, so still in the A zone, but a little low. Same thing in the cheek, a little low. That's not, this one's not, definitely not a great hit. Too low and outside. So way better hits with the fiber optics still picking up with ambient light. They're still here. That's a debate. Typical carry gun. I want a front night sight at least. People ask a lot. Worry could have a red dot. Red dot, especially if you got a weapon mounted light, but that's a lot of gear for everyone to carry day to day that's not in law enforcement, you know, for civilians. Um, so pretty decent hits. I think the 45 way better hits and faster. I don't know, we're at seven yards. Is old school actually better? Or do I just got to train a lot more with red dots dedicated to that if that's what you're going to carry? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I got one really bad shot. I think I threw it way, uh, way right. I am obviously not a master at this. 12.86, I've done it before in 12s. Uh, so 12.86, you're supposed to do it in under 10 seconds. First target. Uh, looks like some tape went off, but I got all A zone here. Really nice, really nice hits here four in the A zone on here. And there's the shot I called, high right, just nicking his collarbone. That's a, that would actually uber penetrate. It'd be the first time that would actually happen. That could be bad. I got three A zone and one there. And I got four perfect A zone here. So all my shots but one, one really bad one, and the rest were A zone, 12.86. see this guy first one two three and four that one's a little low but that is in the abacs on this side so we will call that all good there four in the same hole from a transition that's pretty crazy i got four in the same hole on this guy all his own uh yeah, I like hitting that heart near that spine. And one, two, three, four, all A zone here. Um, so all A zone. So guys, looking at the targets, what do you think? Old school versus new school. 1911 Commander 45 lightweight versus a new striker with the latest greatest red dot. Which one was better? Now I haven't shot red dots in a long time. I did practice some draws uh, last night. So that is a factor. Different platforms, that is a factor. The 45 weighs more than the uh, 9mm does in this case. The previous test, we did 9 versus 45 
in the exact same weights, same style platforms, and both lightweight 30 ounce commanders. But what do you think this time? New school versus old school? Are the results a little surprising? Let's start with the bad guy on the left this time. Okay, let's look at all the hits. So to the body, got one iffy 45 hit. Now he's a lot skinnier than me. But iffy, it's still 45 though. Does hit factor matter? Like if it was USPSA, 45 does a little more damage, a little more points in 9 millimeter. I mean, in reality, it does more tissue crush if you have similar hollow points to hollow points, similar ammo or ball to ball. 45 does a lot more damage. So what about the hits up here? Both in the A zone, if this target, I'm considering this A zone 10, that 9, that 8, C zone. Don't want C zones. Don't want misses. That headshot's better than that headshot. But 45 had one C zone hit. So A zone, old school. You got 7 in the 10 zone, 70, 1 in the 9 zone, and 1 in the 8 zone. Total points, 87. It's getting dark, guys. Sorry. New A zone 10 to 7, 70 points, 2 in the 9 in the 9 or B zone, 18, 88. So on the guy on the left, in these five advanced drills, 9 millimeter wins out, or new school, I should say. New school wins out by just one point on this target. However, let's look at this middle target. Now, mind you, I did some crazy stuff. A lot of it was left hand shooting uh, today, two of the drills. Black is the 9mm hits, just like last time. Beige is the 45 hits. Old school, 45 got 10 A zones, 100 points, 3 9 zones, 27 points for a total score of 127. But let's look at these. That ain't a very great hit. A friggin' miss with the red dot and almost a miss. Practically a miss. You actually might get over penetration that's dangerous in this one, even though it's never happened in a civilian shooting that anyone's documented. New school, 9mm, striker fired, red dot, 7, A zone. Does that surprise you? 4, B zone, 1, uh, 8, C zone, and 1, friggin' miss. Those are very similar. That's horrible. That's horrible. And that's pretty dang next horrible. That's the draw I did twice two headshots from seven yards we did four drills from seven yards and the uh, uh modified el presidente from 10 yards third bad guy look at our hits got two pretty bad hits i'm not happy with those c zones at all one with the nine one with the 45 the rest are pretty similar the headshot with the 45 there, one kind of baddish cheek shot. That might not shut down a guy, okay? That doesn't shut down the brain. That may not shut down a guy. We see an active self-protection. One guy took three shots, point blank headshots, first two, and the bad guy was turning to shoot the attacker right there that got him kind of in the back behind uh, side angle, okay? A little too far behind or in front, then it shut him down. That could happen. Old school, 45, 6A zone. Um, couple B zone, one C zone, new.